Hello everyone. Today I'll talk about Veeam navigation short keys. In general, there are two types of navigation keys. In one type, you move the cursor to different parts of the screen or different parts of the document. Another, in another type, you move the, the document relative to the screen. Uh, this type might be slightly lesser known. Uh, so as you know very well, there are tons of shortcuts in Veeam it's oftentimes get very overwhelming. So here I won't talk about too many of them, but if you don't even want to remember all of these ones, there are two essential ones that will be very useful. Uh, uh, one of them is easy. I will show you what it, it does later on. The other one is HLM. That one, basically, you can change your cursor to the top of the sc screen or the middle or the lower uh, bottom of the screen. Okay, let me show you some examples now. So let me open up uh, a document with a lot of functions. So uh, if you want to uh, like uh, scroll a lot uh, in the file, you can do Control F to go forward or Control B to go backward. You can also do Control U to go upward by half screen or Control D to go uh, downward by half screen. Okay, let me uh, f try to find a good part to demonstrate. Okay, so um, so suppose we are here. The cursor is at this uh, at this position. Uh, suppose we want to go to the top part of the screen. We can do H. Then we are at here. Suppose we want, want to go to the middle part, then we can do M. Suppose we want to go to the bottom, we can do L. Okay. Um, another useful uh, thing is, so here we are looking at uh, one function. It's not very convenient because the large, the the main body of it is hidden. Uh, so if we want to just if we just want to move it a little bit, we can do Control E to lift it up one line. So it's here, note we are moving the document relative to the screen instead of like uh, J or K where you are moving the cursor. So Control E, move, move it up and Control Y, move it down. Okay, a more useful one is say we don't want to just see a few lines below the screen. We want to see say most of it we can do zz so this one will pull this current line to the middle part of the screen so this one is very useful if you want to see even more you can do zt which pull this function to the top of the screen or, or if you want to hide this one you can do zb this will pull this line to the bottom of the screen Okay, um, I think I already covered the most important ones. Uh, let me just tell you three more things. So when is, uh, suppose we want to go to the very beginning of this do document, the zeros line, we can do comma zero, or we can do uh, GG, it will also go to the uh, very fir first line. Sorry, comma zero and comma one will be the same. If you want to go to the uh, very end of the document, we can do capital G. We can also do uh, arbitrary number, co uh, comma some number, and go to that particular line. Um, okay. And suppose we are at a particular line, we can do zero to go to the beginning of the line or uh, the dollar sign to go to the end of the line. Okay, I think that's enough for today. So let me also tell you one bonus uh, shortcut. So um, as I said, suppose you want to go to a particular function, you need to first go closer to the function. Say here we can do M, so we go closer, then you can do JJ. But there is actually uh, a shortcut that allows you to jump between functions. You can do 
the square bracket m to go to the next function or the forward square bracket to go to the previous function forward m and backward m okay hope this one is of some use to you thanks for watching